And because I have this word from the Lord, I didn't even know how to title my sermon. Remember we prayed a prayer that the Holy Spirit gave to me on Thursday or Friday morning? Oh Lord. I'm looking for the prayer now. Oh, um, hmm. okay. Oh Lord. Okay. This is the way Holy Spirit now asks me to pray it. But that who will have thought the Lord visits me with it. He said, you your people prayed who will have taught. I say yes, sir. He said, now, tell them to go and possess what they asked me for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And it, I, I, I began to write. And the prayer point was, oh, Lord, thank you for giving me a miracle of who will have taught. And I need you to pray that prayer before even I move from here. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Thank, you thank you for giving me a miracle of who will have taught. Oh that, uh, I don't, please don't joke this money. Because this is a new year, is a new beginning in this church. Thank you for giving me a miracle of who will have taught I will be in White House. Thank you for giving me a miracle that who will have thought CNN will pick me up. Thank you for giving me a miracle of who will have thought I will be living in Buckingham Palace. Thank you for giving me a miracle that I will be a director in this land. Thank you, all Lord. Begin to prophesy over your life. What your heart's desire, God said, I am giving it to you. Who will have thought that we will have a, a church with a big garage and the place will be packed? Yeah. Who will have thought? Who will have thought the enemy wrestled with this ministry? But in spite of all, this ministry is still going through the world. Who will have thought? Who will have thought that we started with a small beginning? We started with two people. Who will have thought that we became billions? Lord, I thank you. I thank you for listening attentively to the groaning of your children. In Jesus' mighty name, it is so. Amen. You may be seated. And I don't know how to how to title the sermon because I sat in my house and I begin to say, Lord, you are just too much. He said, Tell them I have given it to them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I, 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 I first titled the sermon as My Days of Prosperity is Here. And then I, I went to bed again and I began to think. And I and the Holy Spirit spoke to me this morning. He said, title it, go and possess it. Go and possess it. It has been done, it has been finished, it has your name on it already. Go and possess it. The Lord sent me a message to the church today. And for a confirmation, I was sitting in my office and one of the children of God came to me and said, I dreamt. He said, she, she, or, she, she or he said, I saw a big hall auditorium and I saw the choir performing. Hallelujah. Amen. Who will have thought? For you to, to know that God is listening. Hallelujah. Beloved, you have been going to churches. You have been going to church. You have been praying. 
what you have not really expected. You have not expected. Because God is telling me to tell you that I have finished what you asked me to do. Amen. All I need you to do is to go and possess it. That's your possession. And I want you to really understand how to possess. Because sometimes you 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 do you 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 preach to people and they go home and they don't know what to do. The Bible said we are spirit, we are spirit. And those that worship God must worship God in spirit too. In other words, what I'm going to say to you today must resonate in your spirit. Oh yes. Not only believing, but you have to see the picture of it right in your spirit from your spiritual eyes. In other words, if you are if you are waiting to get your papers, you must begin to see yourself on the plane. Going somewhere, doing things, getting a good job, living a good life. You must begin to see it already. And you not see it at all, you must begin to prepare for it. You must begin to say in your mind and say, okay, my paper is, when my paper comes, when I get it in my hand, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move from this ghetto. I'm going to move somewhere else. I want to walk. You must begin to see those things that are not as though they are. In other words, you must not settle and say, I don't have paper. I'm just sitting there. I keep rehearsing the nonsense. I don't have it. No. You must begin to walk by faith. You must begin to prepare. Prepare. People, some people don't have children. And when you get into their house, they decorate a baby's room. And you say, These people don't have children. I've been coming here seven years and they decorate a room. Yes, they do. Because they are expecting. I was holding the landlord money today. And I, oh, the Holy Spirit began to talk to me, saying, Look at that. You're, you put the landlord's money in your purse for like seven days now, or six days, right? And he's in his house. He didn't even know. His check is ready. And last night I put it in the envelope. And I wrote his name, I'm going to drop it in the mail. And he didn't know that. Hallelujah. Right? But the main thing is that he's expecting it. Yeah. Yeah. He knows he will come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he knows he will come. And if he didn't come in time, he will call me yeah. and say, Bishy, where is my money? <laughs> it's the same thing with the Lord. When you give him the desire of your heart, you begin to expect. You begin to walk in the expecter. You begin all every thought, everything you do is towards that thing. And then it will become flesh. Oh yes. It will become real. real. And you will see it mm -hmm. happening. Why would one pray and two people pray and one receive before the other? The only difference is that the other one have a relationship with the Lord. Yeah. He trusts God. She trusted God. Yeah. She knew that God cannot fail. Even, in, even when the storm is dragging them, the flood is taking you, you still believe. I 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 still
Merci Béré. The person that never have no access to come to America. And they kept saying, you're not going to go to America. And people say, hello, you've been saying this for seven years. Do you go find some place to sit? And the person still begin to say it. The reason is because the person believed God. The person believed God. He believed that whatever he wants, God will be true. He believed that whatever he said will manifest. And this is the reason why you cannot confess negative. You cannot. Because if you do, somebody will be sealing their destiny. Listen to this. Please go with me to Genesis 15, please. I want you to, to hear the word of the Lord. Because my word won't do it. But please be attentive to the word of the Almighty. Genesis 15. Are we there? Yep. Listen to this. After these, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Somebody say in a vision. In a vision. In a vision. Some of you have dreamed. You have dreamt. Right? Some of you have your prophecy in your portfolio, in your at the back of your mind. And it's the same thing with Abraham right here. The Lord word came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. Aren't we afraid sometimes? Beloved? Aren't we afraid? We all are sometimes. Lord, it's two days my landlord is going to know what am I going to see? We are afraid sometimes. Lord, I have not got enough hours this week. And the week is gone to an end. What am I going to do? Lord, my child has not come home. I hope he didn't begin to pick some bad habits. It's all different things we are afraid of. Some women, I am getting old. Who is going to be by me at my late time? Because definitely know that your children will leave. And you, can't, you, you, you can't do nothing about that. But some of us, that is some of the fear of the people. Some people will be like, what if anything happens to me now? Who is going to take the role of a mother for my child? That is the fear of some people. And Abraham was afraid too. But Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me? What will you give me? Seeing I go childless. Yeah? You know, Lord, I have problems. You know I have problems. And you are giving me the White House vision. <laughs> Huh? You are giving me a vision of being a father of nations. And I don't even have a child and I'm old. The only child that is playing in this house is the, is the child of a maid. That's not an heir. And Abraham was pouring his heart to the Lord. Abraham said, see, go childless. You see me that I don't have a child. And the heir of my house is Eliza of Damascus. Mm -hmm. Then Abraham said, look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is 
my hair. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your hair. In other words, the Lord is telling you, You think you are old? I haven't finished with you. Ah, 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 you think where you are living, living now is not the place you, you want to live? I haven't, you haven't even seen the house that I'm building behind you Amen. yet. The job that I'm having now is a job that I can't even boast of. That is not even your job. It's just a, it's just a stepping stone for you. Yeah. It's not your job. The Lord. the Lord said the miracle that I am doing are the miracles that eyes have not seen. The miracles of who will have thought, who will have thought, who will have thought, who will have thought. The Lord is, in other words, the Lord is talking to Abraham. You haven't even seen nothing. And you are thinking you are old. I don't walk with time. And I don't walk with age. I am the Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible said, And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one who will come. Who will what? Come out. Lord, what are you talking about? Come when? Come when? Do I have to tell you that I'm, I'm almost going to the grave. <laughs> and the Lord said, from your own body shall be your hair. That body that you think is weak. <laughs> that is where I'm bringing the, the hair from. That is why, where I'm bringing the child from. That menor, menor hair. Not menopause, menor hair. That's where I'm bringing the child from. <laughs> where you touch the hope is gone. That is where I am bringing the hope from. Amen. Is there anyone in our midst today that is saying that Pastor Bissi just be blah, blah, blah every week? It's good for her. Mm -hmm. She didn't even know what I've been going through. Mm -hmm. I do know. I have been there too. But the difference is that I did not. I did not relent. I my hope in the Lord was strong, and nobody could take it away from me. Because they said my hope is built on nothing else. On nothing else. At 50, 
city, you can't have a child. And people will accept it. But the Lord is talking to Abraham. I don't deal with all that. I made the days, I made the minutes, I made the hour, I made every joint in you. What are you talking about? You are talking science now, Abraham. You are not talking me. Is anyone here? Have anybody told you it can't work? It can't work. No, it's, it didn't happen like that. They don't do it like that. I don't care how they do it. I care how God asks me to do it. Because I don't roll by what people say. I roll by what the word say. The Lord is talking to Abraham and he's talking to me and you. What it what it what is it? What is it in this life that can weigh you down? What is it? What is it? And beloved, the Bible said, and he believed in the Lord, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. In other words, is there any believer in the house today? Um, yes. <laughs> is there any person that has not seen the hand of God before? Even before the problem you have now. How about in the past? What he has done? Is there? Can you explain how you got here today? Not at all. Beloved, listen to this in um, chapter 13, 14. I'm just going to quickly read this because of our time. Chapter 13, 14 said, And the Lord said to Abraham, no. <laughs> After Lot had separated from him, lift up your eyes now and look from the place where you are. Look northward, look southward, look eastward and westward. For all the land which you see, I gave to you and your descendant forever. Forever. Beloved, do you believe? Then if you believe, why are you crying? Why is your head down? Because if you believe, somebody that believes, their head cannot be down. They cannot be eating sorrow like bread. The person that believes we tell you that, you know, I think by next year, um, I think um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be married. I think, I'm, 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 let, me, let me tell you, in two years' time, I will be a CEO. And the people will be somebody, CEO. She didn't even take it from the little. <laughs> she didn't even take it from supervisor or something. Do you know people was talking about Donald Trump? Da 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 da. But they said he's winning. Yes. Ah. Hey, children of God, I'm begging you. If you don't believe. You are just coming here to go, to walk the bench and be a number among us. Because the Bible said, only those that believe yes. see my miracle. If you don't believe, you don't see it. How can that man be winning? When I have it, I say, Lord.
You know me, I don't watch TV, so I don't know what's going on. I really, I think I overheard it on the radio, Christian radio. They said well, Trump is weak, and I froze. I said, ah. Huh? Lord? Let me tell you, if one believer can take the world like that, like that, and you as a child of God cannot believe God for what you want. Not believing. You need to open your mouth even in the midst of your elders and say, This is what I am. You like either you like it or not, I will keep saying it until you see it. You must there is a dream in you that you carry. But the Lord said, I have done it. Since the Lord has done it and you know he has done it, you need to be walking with your head high. What more do you need God to do? He gave you the check. He signed it already. He said it is finished. Go and possess it. And you are still there. Still in sorrow. Still in sorrow. Abraham asked him. Abraham said, but he said, let me come, come out. Abraham. You see these stars? You see? Can you count them? It's, no, that's how your children is going to be. And when God gives you a word like that, you go home and you are happy. And you begin to see with the eyes of faith that my children are so much, I can't even count them. Amen. They are all over the place. And Abraham, the Bible said, he believed and God counted for righteousness. If you didn't receive the miracle of who will have thought, it's not anybody's fault. It's because you didn't believe. Oh, yes. For God to wake me up and say, tell them, I have heard them. He said, go and preach to them and tell who To what the Spirit said to the church, that they will possess it. Amen. I am doing a new thing, and you will see it when I'm done. I remember one of us here told me they go on the train, they go on the bus. I one day they sat and they said, Why should I be going on the train on the bus? The day you do that, that is the day you see God. Why should I be going in a bus? Why should I be paying for a cab? And the person said, the Holy Spirit said to them after, go to so, 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 so place. And they went. And now they are riding a car. It is a check God has prepared for you. But if you don't sit and say, I'm better than this. What is all this? Lord, this is my right. This is what you said. And th that's, that is what I'm claiming. Nothing less. Then you will see it manifest. Beloved, I always said, I want to live in Connecticut. I always said it since I came to this country. I just love the place. Even when I don't even know the place. And I'll be like, I want to live in Connecticut because they said when the British come, that's where they settle the Lord. And I just love the place like that. Until I post to start doing crusade and we start going there. And every time I'm driving, I'm like, I want to live here. I want to live. Do you know? I was minding my business and I don't know, you can follow me if you want. And a lady who on my job said was talking to the aunt. And the auntie said, um, I got a mortgage for 49000 for you. What? 49. Wow. 
I said, what are you, when she put, I said, what are you both talking about? She said, oh, it's my auntie. She's been, she been getting me like four houses in Connecticut now. And she said she got this one very low price for 49. I said, what? what? A house for 49,000. <laughs> Just to drive one and a house to New York. Please call your auntie for me. I said, how much is it, the mortgage? She said, four hundred dollars. I said, what? Yes. I'm saying it to you now. Yes. It's not a secret anymore. So if you see pastor go to collect, you better come too. Yes. 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 Why not? I said, four hundred. I said, call your auntie now. Call her back now. You must stand firm. 